This is a continuation tutorial of the Microsoft Access connection to the Visual Basic 6. Usually in these, these type of forms, uh, it's usually requested that there's a picture matching to the name of the employee. So I usually choose this image uh, component on the side. Now just make a picture to your uh, liking and size this image. Okay, now set the set the property to the image as false, and then set the stretch as true. Now name the image to the employee. So right now this employee's name is going to be Michael, right? Because we have a Michael in there, and then the next employee is going to be. Jim, if you remember. Okay. I just copied and pasted whatever I created there on this uh, on the first picture, so that there's consistency. You don't want the other picture to be bigger than the other one. You don't want it to be uh, longer than the other one, right? So all you do is copy and paste it and put it on top of the other picture. Remember, all these pictures are visible false, so whenever you run the program, uh, all the pictures will not be seen. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Right now, there's no pictures on uh, selected for the images here, so if you run it, nothing's there. So if, for instance, if we were to put in an image right now, wait a minute, why is there an image? One. Image one is Pam. Image one. Okay, so we go over to picture property and we select the picture that we would like to choose for that one. So it's Pam. All right. So in this in this layout layout view, the design view, you can see the picture, but if you run it, you won't see it because it, the the property is false. So first we're going to select the picture for Jim and Michael. Okay, so again, all of them are false, won't be able to see them. Okay, now what we need to do is go to the employee name, the TXD employee name, and uh, uh, double click so we, that we go, we go to the procedure change. Alright, make sure that it's change and not click or anything else. So, uh, change. So, what we need to do is make the condition if TXD employee. Employee dot uh, employee name dot text is equal to and let me just set this up. We're going to be using this a lot, so we're going to make else if and another else if. So first if is that if it's Michael. And that means Michael's picture will be shown, right? So we set the property to true. So now, if it's Pam, same difference, same thing. Just do the same thing. Not visible. Property true. And then Jim. Image. Jim dot visibles equal to true. Now if we run this, you see Michael, you see Pam, and you don't see Jim. If we go back, only see Pam. That's because Pam is on the top of all the pictures, and all the pictures are now true. So what we need to do is make a private sub of our own to make it that all the other pictures are false when the other one is true. So I'm going to call this private sub invisible. Okay, so create our own private sub. So we just type in all the images. Visible is equal to false. Pam visible is equal to false. Jim is false also. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to call we're going to call visible I'm, I'm sorry invisible okay so if we were to run this right now it should work fine Michael Pam Jim see it's no longer only Pam okay let me explain what happened there okay what what this does is it creates that uh, the thing that I showed you before all pictures are false and all of them are invisible so if we we go to the change the employee name is going to change right employee name is Michael so they changed to Michael they changed to Pam they changed to Jim so what this code did is that it called first invisible that means it made Michael invisible, Pam invisible, and Jim invisible. And then it went through and said, if the name is Michael, make it true. And then the name is not Pam, so it didn't go through here. The name is not Jim, so it didn't go through here. Now, it changed again. It called invisible. It's not Michael, so it didn't go through here. It's Pam, so it made this visible. So I hope you understand this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching.